Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of Higher Ground Academies class of 2021. I am your master of ceremony, Abdul Rashid Sane. We're here today to honor the graduates' accomplishments and to celebrate their transition of becoming young adults. These seniors have demonstrated resilience by learning and growing under the challenging circumstances in the last one year and a half. Congratulations, you have made it. We're happy to see you grow and develop into young leaders. Now, I welcome Dr. Yegzo, our executive director, to deliver his welcome note. Good afternoon. Parents, staff, and invited guests, welcome to the graduation ceremony of 2021. As many of you know, we lost one of our precious children last week. We are very saddened by her passing away at such a young age. Her family, her friends, everyone who loved her are in our prayers and thoughts. Having said that, this day is another big day in the history of our school. HGA graduated its first class of students in 2003. Since then, hundreds of students have graduated from our school. I don't think I am exaggerating if I say our graduates have been very successful in their post-secondary lives. Many of them went on to college and earned degrees in nursing, medicine, engineering, law, finance, education, social work, and other fields. We also have graduates who joined the police force in their community. Some have started successful businesses. I run into many of our graduates when I'm in the community. My sense is that most of them are leading a happy life. Based on that, I can say with confidence that we have done a fine job. We have stayed true to our mission. Congratulations, colleagues. The graduates this year are about 40. Congratulations to all of them and their families. In a few minutes, they will receive their diplomas. By awarding them a diploma, we are certifying that they are co college ready. They have the knowledge, skill, and dispositions required to succeed in college. In addition to the diploma, almost all members of this class have earned scholarship from Higher Ground Academy. Higher Ground has a scholarship program known as the Martin Luther King Earn As You Learn Scholarship. Each school year, students earn money through this program based on their yearly GPA. Therefore, most of these graduates have earned some money from this program. The money would be directly transferred to the college that they will attend next school year. The contact for the Mar Martin Luther King Scholarship Program is Ms. Alice McCastle. Finally, I'd like to thank Ms. Brenda Hassan and the others who helped us uh, plan this event. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yegzo. There were so many outstanding students in this year's class, and this year's valedictorian is exceptional Najma Adam. <laughs> Najma is an outstanding student. Besides her academic excellence, she is known for sticking to her goals and performing her best. As a caring young leader, she values building positive relationships with her surrounding community members, teachers, and students, and the rest of our community members know her for that. Now I welcome Najma Adam. Hey, 
everybody. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. My name is Najmo. I want to start off this speech with a little dua. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yisirli amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Oh my Lord, open my heart, make my task easy for me, and remove the knot from my tongue so they may understand my speech. First and foremost, all praise and thanks are to Allah. Next, I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for never quitting. I want to thank I want to thank me for just being me at all times. That is a quote from a big hero of mine, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> wow, high school has finally come to an end. I would like to start off this speech with a thank you to everyone that got me and my fellow graduates to this day. I would like to thank the parents who pushed their children to keep trying every day. I would like to thank the siblings, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and friends who gave us words of wisdom and advice. I would like to thank the staff who served us food, let us come to clean hallways, classrooms, and lunchrooms most of the time. And obviously thank you to all the teachers who contributed to our education. The first thing many people think of when they think of school is learning. What did we learn? We learned about many subjects from chemistry, Somali, algebra, and even theater arts. Although we spent most of our time learning about these subjects, they weren't the most important thing we learned. We learned how to work together, which is how we secured our A's and B's. We learned to have fun in the most boring situations. Some of us also got to find our passions. My fellow graduates have a wide range of passions, from gaming to drawing to video editing, cooking, and even trying new Starbucks drinks. I can't say that all four years of high school were easy. Physics was definitely the worst, except when we made legendary YouTube vlogs with my favorite, hold on. Um, but I would like to thank the teachers who gave us the space to learn, but also the space to be kids sometimes. Specifically, thank you to Mr. Khadr, our world language teacher, who would have meaningful discussions with us and taught us in a way that was useful, clear, and exciting. Another big shout out to Dr. Mahmoud who is here today. Um, he, was, he was our principal and our college algebra teacher. So math is not an easy subject, but he never gave up on trying his best to help us master the subject. I would also like to thank him for letting us let loose and just be chill sometimes through these hard times. We weren't the easiest class to deal with. We had many incidents, and we can only look back at them and laugh now. We had the chair throwing incidents all throughout freshman year. We weren't allowed to go on the Festival of Nations field trip that first year and thought all the teachers hated us. Some of us still think that. A lot of us have known each other since middle school. Some of my classmates I've known since the first grade, and there's no class that tops us, and moving forward, there will never be a class that tops us. So I know a lot of the faculty are going to miss us, even though some of you guys didn't show that you loved us. Deep down, I know you'll all miss us. We had many memories throughout those years and had many people who joined us and added a little spice throughout the years. Here are a few highlights I can remember from the past four years. My favorite being watching a teacher slip on chocolate milk in the cafeteria. It was interesting watching my classmates play fight during their free hours, blasting Nicki Minaj in Mr. Burr's class, um, getting lectured by Mr. Beer on most days, especially when someone wore a blanket, um, beating my classmates in a game of Crazy Eight was sometimes the highlight of my day, distracting our teachers so we wouldn't have to do as much work, rushing to do our homework at the breakfast table, and making up the dumbest excuses when we couldn't, RIP to Dona, the lizard from AP Bio class, and RIP to Penelope, the goldfish. But let's not forget the biggest memory we all share, which is this past year. COVID has been the most notable part of high school for us. For some, it was a blessing 
because we got to do school from the comfort of our bedroom, which was why it was annoying when teachers would ask us to have our cameras on. For some of us, it was really hard not being able to see our friends and being stuck at home for long periods of time. Although we haven't had the best senior year, or even a good one, there's a lot we could take from this experience. This past year has shown us how important it is to cherish those around us, whether that's your parent, sibling, extended family, friend, or even your favorite teacher. I hope this is the lesson we all take. Some of us will be doctors, teachers, wives, husbands, mothers, fathers, and remembering to cherish those around us and treating them with care will take us a long way. I look forward to seeing all the places me and my fellow graduates go. I won't forget any of you guys when I'm rich and famous. Um, and I'll leave one last thing with you guys before I leave, and it's something that was taught to us in Somali class. This is advice for everyone from the elders to the teachers, to the children, and everyone listening, including myself. Somali da wahaykum mahmahda, fule gesi horti budinta. This is a Somali proverb meaning the coward dies before the brave. So take risks and don't be a coward. Be like me. <laughs> Um, and before I go, I just want to take a group picture with my classmates, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, everybody say cheese. Okay, cheese! Oh, really? Cheese! <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Najma. That was a great job. Thank you very much. Now, I welcome Dr. Yegzo, our executive director again, to welcome and introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you, Abdul Rashid. Our keynote speaker today is a very special person. Her name is Hamdi Sheikh Said. Hamdi is a 2013 graduate of Higher Ground Academy. While she was with us, Hamdi was the kind of student that every teacher would love to have in their class. Very respectful, curious, deep thinker, and good at working with others, and more. Hamdi took many college courses through the PSEO program during her junior and senior years. She also took AP classes to earn college credits. Actually, one of them was with me. She was admitted to the UFM in the fall of 2013. There, she earned a bachelor's degree in physiology in the spring of 2017. She was accepted to the medical school at the UFM and enrolled there since the fall of 2018. She is currently a fourth year medical student and she plans to go to emergency medicine uh, with emphasis on global studies, uh, global medicine, I'm sorry. Her anticipated graduation is in the spring of 2022, this time next year. Hamdi hopes to integrate global health into her future work and serve her local and global community. She is passionate about mentoring and has dedicated time into mentoring students from underrepresented communities. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Hamdi Sheikh Said. Hello, everybody. Graduates, teachers, friends, and family, it is an honor to speak in front of you today. Class of 2021, what a year it has been for you. From navigating a global pandemic to new ways of learning, communicating, and socializing, I want to say this to you. You made it to the finish line. You did. When the world was tilting on its axis, you stood firm on your ground and kept your head down to reach this day. And it is a huge, huge accomplishment for you and especially for the community that has stood behind you. 
I remember when I was sitting in your own very seats many, many years ago, I was hopeful and extremely excited, but boy was I scared. You see, the fear really came from leaving a place of comfort, a place that has allowed you to grow, that has nurtured you, and that has supported you into becoming the persons you are today. That fear mostly came from self-doubts. Am I good enough? My first class at the U was 300 students, and you could imagine that was a change from higher ground. I sat right in the middle of the class, not knowing anybody. My mind was wrecked with doubts. How could I succeed in a class, I thought to myself, where I was one of 300 students, where my teachers didn't even know my names? That was the beginning of my college experience. I remember feeling extremely lost and anchorless. After the first two weeks of feeling sorry for myself, I was quite tired of the feeling and decided I was going to do something about it. I showed up to my professor's class, professor's office, and decided to bury that fear and the self-doubts. That day I learned a valuable lesson that has still helped me navigate through life currently. And that it is you do not allow your fears to suffocate you and scare you into thinking that you cannot accomplish things. You must always face the things that terrify you the most because that is where growth begins. You see, I would love to tell you to not be afraid and to not doubt yourself, but you will anyways because that is what change does to all of us. It makes us doubt and it makes us scared. I would rather say channel any negative feelings that you have into reflections and actions because despite this year being hard, because it was hard, you persevered. And the skills and the strengths you have shown will set you up greatly for the future. One of the most important things in life is to be fluid, amendable to change, and most of all, work hard. Your presence here today showcases all those attributes and many, many more. So be proud of yourselves because certainly your friends, family, and your community are. New beginnings are hard. Today is the first day of the rest of your adult life. You will be going out into a world full of opportunities, responsibilities, and most of all, possibilities. Allow yourself to explore, to keep an open mind, to try things even when they seem hard, and to reach for the places that you think you cannot reach. You are the captains of your ships. The motivations behind every action that you do may vary, but ask yourself this. Am I proud of what I have done? Did I do my best? Make sure the answer is always yes, and if it isn't, try again. The first steps of success comes from trying and most of the time from failing. So I will tell you to fail big. Failure is where learning begins. There will be grief and disappointment and sadness attached to not getting that job and not getting that grade and not getting into that program you wanted. But it is during those moments when you are forced to rethink your life and your positions that your true attributes come out. There's a Somali saying, when one door closes, another opens. So always be ready to get up and try again. You mustn't ever falter in the face of failure, but define yourself in the space of struggle. Those are the lessons that will stay with you and shape you. Have a vision for your life and start that journey right now. It is never too early, nor will it ever be too late. I was a 10th grader when one day I thought to myself, I want to go to Somalia and do something. God knows what I wanted to do. I had never been to the country, nor did I know how I will get to that vision. 
But I will tell you, t almost 10 years later, I am just starting towards that journey right now. And it might be 10 or 20 years from now when my 15-year-old vision will manifest itself. But you see, it's never about the time. It's never about how long it takes or how hard the journey is. It's about the destination and when you reach that. It is about direction. The paths each and every one of you will take will be very different. And it will have its own hurdles. How you overcome them completely depends on what drives you. Through trials and failures, ask yourself, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? How do you want to change that little corner of the world for the better? These questions will help you navigate through the hardships of your life. For what is a ship without a compass? As T.S. Eliot said, only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. So go far. Go far beyond your wildest dreams and imaginations. Push out the critical voices, the naysayers, the ones who don't believe in you, but most of all, your inner voice that will and has always had doubts. You have to show up for yourself every single day through every valley and every mountaintop. And you must be your number one supporter. I would like to conclude with a favorite poem of mine by William Stafford called The Thread. There's a thread you follow. It goes among things that change, but it doesn't change. People wonder about what you are pursuing. You have to explain about the thread, but it is hard for others to see. While you hold it, you cannot get lost. Tragedies happen, people get hurt or die, and you may suffer and get old. Nothing you can do can stop times unfolding. You don't ever let go of the thread. So class of 2021, find your thread and don't ever let it go. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you very much, Hamdi. Thank you for your inspiring words and wisdom. Now we're going to make our graduation official where we're going to be conferring diplomas. So I welcome Dr. Samuel Yigzo, Ms. Abir, and Dr. Mahmoud. As a director, I'm here to present for one student who have met all the requirements for the high school diploma set forth by the Department of Education and the Board of Directors of High Grand Academy. And the authority invested by Agnew Academy to confirm high school credentials, I hereby confirm the official graduation of these following students. Now I present the graduates. Abdullahi, Ab Abdullahi Abdi. Is it this one? Aisha Abdi. Yahya Abdi. <laughs> Zakaria Abdullahi. <laughs> Sual Abdul Ghadir. <laughs> Abdullahi, Abdullahi. Hold on, Abdullahi. <laughs> Badger, Abdullahi. <laughs> Mumtaz, Abdullahi.
نجم آدم ياسمين آدم فاضل أحمد نجمة عرتة سماع جيلاني زبير حاشي رضوان حاشي يسرى حاشي محمد حسن محمد حسين عبد القادر ابراهيم عبد الله إبراهيم صلاح الدين إبراهيم سلعودين سلعودين عدروس إبراهيم خالد إبراهيم أسي إسحاق يوسف عيسى أمال جامع فوزية محمد
مختار مهدي مقصود مقتل عمران محمد عبد الله محمد علي محمد اسماء محمد اسماء 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 جويريه محمود <تصفيق> فاطمه نور محمد بيترز سيام سليمان عبد الرحمن شيخ نور آن لغما ورداله Graduates, graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. To left. Can, can you stand up first, please? Can you stand up? You may move your tassel from right to left. Signify you have officially graduated. Class of 2021, congratulations. Okay. Now, please, to the balance of our gradu graduating seniors and all our graduates, 
I can express words, my deepest appreciation and gratitude for your continued support and involvement in our schools, both Agra Academy and Agra Secondary Academy. Thank you for sharing your most precious possession, your children, for entrusting us with their education and personal development. Thank you, parents. The last thing, I now ask staff of Agra Academy and Agra Secondary Academy to stand up, please. Staff, stand up, please. Please. Parents, invited guests, and class of 2021, our faculty and staff have been your teachers, mentors, and supporters during your time at GA and GSA. Let's give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> to recognize them and their contribution to the success of our students. Thank you, staff. The ceremony is over. Thank you, everybody.